Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages. Like, 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 and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you so, so very much, those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is always and forever going to be loved and appreciated. God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, Cosmic Guides, all beings of the highest and purest white light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart. You are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please, please, please give my wonderful, fabulous, and amazing Piscean Seer family the best and most accurate information for them at this time, okay? So this is a unicorn reading, okay? Let me, hold on. Let me scoot over a little bit <laughs> so the unicorn can be seen, okay? I mean, the unicorn was being seen even when I was blocking it, though. So you could definitely be in this unicorn happy, happy, lighter type of energy, but also I'm hearing you carry the wisdom of the unicorns. You know, unicorns are wise and have been being talked about and, you know, fantasized about and wondered about for centuries, okay? Um, and I heard they actually do exist, okay? Just not in a realm where you're able to perceive them necessarily, but in a realm, I heard like sister realm, okay? In a sister realm. Um, you're very magical, though. Like, this is what I'm saying. You're a very magical energy, you know. You represent innovation, ingenuity, and you could be very curious at this time about a lot of different things. And honestly, your energy, your sense of well-being, your sense of self-worth is way ahead of its time. Beautiful, okay? So I was just sitting here, right here, singing, All my life, I pray for someone like you. <laughs> and I thank God that I, that I finally found you. Okay, so somebody been praying for you all their life and they finally found you okay so this could definitely be some sort of like divine counterpart type of energy and i'm not saying they're gonna come in right away or that they are already around and those could definitely be possibilities but they definitely have their eye on you at this point they know who you are they see this beautiful value and wealth that you're holding within yourself with this nine of pentacles energy and they can see this big mission that you have on earth on you okay to them you're looking like royalty okay but i think um they could still be in hermit mode okay we gotta spend time alone this could be what they're really being called to do at this time you know just know like your name holds power and i think that person's name holds power also you know I, I heard like under god okay so um my notes i wrote black cat okay and then next to next to well dead black cat is what i wrote because that's what i've seen okay and then next to that i wrote out of luck okay so some people around you with these narcissistic vibes are like <laughs> shit out of luck right now okay i feel like with that black cat energy okay so when i look at the black cat it says overcoming problems and then it said overcoming of problems or enemies that black cats represent okay so that's what i was getting into that black cats often represent witches to some people you know and then we got the three fates at the bottom of this deck which is talking about what goes around comes around you know well it just says what comes around okay so something's coming around for these people with these narcissistic vibes and you could live in new york or new york could be very significant okay you could have been dealing with some sort of racist discrimination we got Colorado, we got West Virginia, and it says, know that you are loved and protected and never alone, you know, and then it says, I can become a party to no such absurd proceeding, you know, so I feel like you're really just not focused on getting into any issues or anything, you're really becoming a master at overcoming these so-called problems or these, you know, misfortunate happenings in your life, you know, you really do have this deep sense of understanding you know and also with this moon child since forever shirt that i'm wearing okay you could be a cancer or someone else could be a cancer or you could just be very tapped into this you know wild feminine energy because we got wild femininity under that you know it says the communicative with this gemini energy so you also could be communicating with spirit very well really hearing a lot of things that <laughs> that they're downloading to you okay i heard so many crazy downloads you know like it was like the minute everybody walked out of the house you know 
like then all of a sudden all the downloads started pouring in okay so you could be receiving lots of downloads about the people around you and what they're really getting into what they're really getting up to and why they're moving the way that they're moving you know and i was just rolling okay i was really laughing because the things that i hear are just so crazy sometimes but it really do be making sense it really do be adding up and piecing up to the way that people be acting okay so we got death and misfortune is what the dead black cat can also represent so some people could be experiencing some major ego deaths and running into a little bit of misfortune you know some people i, I heard literal deaths okay so that is absolutely a possibility um but I think if that is the case, it's only because, you know, what comes around, like they just keep throwing death magic at you and this is what they really want for you. So this is what they're calling to themselves. OK, this is what they're attracting. So um, next I wrote grape wood. OK, and then I wrote foundation with a question mark because like that's only that's the only thing that I really got from it. I feel like you have a very strong foundation because when I looked it up, it said <laughs> It said, reminds us of Christ's total gift of self to us, okay? So foundation, okay, which is makes sense now, but it really didn't make sense when I was taking these notes, okay? But like I said, you have a strong foundation because you have received the Christ consciousness, which is the gift of access to the total self, okay, through the energy of God. So that's why you're so beautiful, so magical, so independently wealthy, and why you really do have things going for you, even if things seem a little bit hard, you know, or a little bit tumultuous at this time, you know, it's just that the things outside of you are being like shaken up and rearranged. It's like you being in, they showed me like an, a big earthquake, okay? Like tearing shit up, you know, the kind of earthquakes that cause a ripple in the ground and just throw buildings like they're nothing, okay? <laughs> um, but you standing in the middle of that earthquake, very solid on on your foundation okay so um please don't worry about anything that could be going on outside of you and just continue to be beautiful and magical the way that you're doing continue to do whatever it is that you do specifically for the divine and you will always be straight it says tied to fertility and prosperity okay so through this beautiful christ gift of self you have tied yourself to unlimited and infinite fertility and prosperity. And this is something that you really need to believe in, really believe in and uphold the magic that is active and so beautifully working within you. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Somebody's, um, initials could be W L S. Okay. Or, you know, you could have a W and L or an S. At the beginning, you know, at the beginning of your middle, your first middle or last name, okay? So, you know, WLS, if those letters are significant, then, or they could definitely be um, someone outside of you's initials, okay? We got the 12th house right here when I part the deck with spirituality and art, and then we got trying under that with support and inspiration. What's this? Taurus, okay? So you could be an earth trying. Um, but you're so supported through this beautiful spirituality and this artistic expression that you do in your daily life. You know, we got the fourth, the fourth house with home and family. Okay. And then we got work in routine with the sixth house. So I feel like maybe your family could be trying to affect your routine in some sort of way. I don't know. Maybe you could be just finding a happier and you know, more smooth routine with your family that could be working for you and just working for all parties involved. And that's really great. Just really getting into the rhythm of things, you know, school starting back. Okay. We got essence and personality. So like within you, your essence and your personality is shining so bright. You know, this is the sun energy, baby. So you're looking beautiful. And also it's like this beautiful energy that you have within you is what is exposing, you know, these people in your family and the people around you. We got opposition right here with tension and opposites. OK, so I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, you're just the total opposite of them. Like you just really don't move the way that they move. You know, maybe you're not the total opposite. Of course, you guys have things in common because you've been around each other for years. OK, and, you know, that's just natural. Even your animal starts to take on some of your characteristics the more <laughs> that you spend time around it you know so like 
I think when it comes to any sort of nasty or lower vibrational type of characteristics that you have with these people, these are things that you have been able to heal. And that's why I say, you know, or why they're saying you have nothing in common with those people. Like your essence is just completely different. And not to mention all this spiritual work and prayer and things that you have put up to the divine that has your essence in such a pure place. Like no one could ever really truly affect that or really come in and cause any sorts of problems or issues for you at this time, okay? You could be starting a new job, okay? Um, it says, no, you are protected, loved, and never alone, okay? So, um, you know, go ahead and do your new job without any worries or problems. Know that your angels and guides are always there with you wherever you are, wherever you go. You're constantly covered and shielded and protected because the way your essence and personality shines outside of you is such a beautiful and rare thing. You are the unicorn, baby. So you just have to, like, really uphold that beautiful, magical energy and don't let anybody, like, you know try to dim your light or whatever. What's going on outside of them though? It says anyone against you will pay karma, okay? That's what's going on outside of you. <laughs> and I think that's just beautiful, you know? Like at this point, okay, we got scammers trying to scam you. You can have scammers trying to scam you right now, okay? Trying to get you to, uh, you know, click on links and trying to find a way into your information because they just really don't have one. I heard uh, they got nothing on you, okay? They don't have nothing on you and they need something on you right now. They're limited to like energy, energy bar tools and remote viewing, you know, which is like uh, spiritual monitoring and like emotional monitoring and things like that like they really don't have any any in into your energy like they used to where they used to be able to like grab the reins is what they're showing me okay they're showing me someone grabbing the reins okay they used to be able to just you know treat you like some sort of racehorse and just like snap the straps whenever they wanted and get you moving in the direction that they wanted you to go in but they don't have that power anymore we got arizona okay it says darkness and decay hold dominion over them okay um there could be artists or vocalists involved okay that artist or vocal Vocalist could have tried to sabotage your vehicle. My cat did this. <laughs> My cat did this because he was pulling out all of the decks and sometimes he likes to chew on the cards, but he only chews on the ones that I made. I think <laughs> I don't usually give him that much time, but it is definitely a fight to get him back from him because he likes to chase them around. Okay. So period. Okay. It was definitely a fight to get you back from these people. Okay. Because they really enjoy chasing you around. They really enjoy hiding in plain sight and thinking you don't know. It's like, you know, the thrill of an affair is how they're putting it, you know, where it's fun at first because you're sneaking around and it's an adrenaline rush and it's an energy that you're not used to and so you know that person's obviously being nicer to you and treating you you know what you appear to, like what appears to you like they're treating you better because you know it's the other grass you know it's like oh i've never been over here in this yard i really like it you know and that's kind of the thrill that they get out of like out of out of like attacking you in secret it's like some sort of thrill the thrill of getting caught is what i'm hearing it says they never truly cared so release them so if you are having a hard time releasing these people then know that it's okay okay like it's okay to release them it doesn't mean you're never going to see them again or you're not going to be around them but it release the cord or any emotional attachment that you might still have with the people okay it doesn't turn off your love or your caring or any of that, okay? It just makes it much easier for you to be able to make more sense of your empathic abilities. And that's why they're saying that. We got Alabama, okay? We got hired magic practitioner, okay? It says the catfisher has it all on film, okay? We got Illinois. We got sex traffickers on the low. We got childish ass energy. We got neighbors and family involved, okay? We got arson. Somebody staged some sort of house fire or something like that. We got New Hampshire. It says awareness of the power of the world makes you careful to separate fact from opinion. Okay. So you are now aware of the real power of this world and the real power of this universe and how things really truly do work. So now I think you're being much more careful when it comes to separating facts from opinion. And maybe that could be why they're asking you to do any, any sort of emotional separation that you need to make 
so that you can be more acquainted with the facts and not so attached to your emotional opinion of them or their emotional opinion that they may be projecting toward you through that emotional connection that you might have, okay? It says, uh, limit your always and your nevers, okay? It says they stole from you and they enjoyed doing it, okay? It says the way they create an inception is the same way we create in an awakened state, which is giving me big illusion energy. I feel like they were able to hold enough power when they were able to drain you to maintain this, you know, illusion or this way that they wanted you to see them and the world around you. But this is something that you definitely have broken by letting your true essence and personality shine from the inside out. And this is something that you definitely should continue to do. It says most powerful is he who has himself in his own power. Okay. Which is a quote from Lucius Ennius Seneca, okay? And we're at North Dakota. It says, they all party together or know the same people. So know that you're not tripping when you think like, you know, you see awkward energy or you feel that awkward energy or whatever because people are feeling like there are certain things they can and cannot say in certain situations. And some of them are like afraid of the others, okay? So pay attention to things like that. We got the Violet Duchess with stifled board and stuff, okay? People might be feeling, you know, real bored with this now because it's just not even working no more. All they're doing is calling a lot of negative energy to themselves, you know? Like they're not even having fun with it anymore. And they know that that shit is not a secret. Like I said, your essence and personality and the way that you have flourished and bloomed into your natural self is what scares the shit out of them and makes them feel exposed, okay? What uh, do you want them to focus on or be aware of when it comes to these people against them paying karma? It says, I am Kali from Death Comes Rebirth, okay? So beautiful. You could be a life path number one or three or a life path number four. We got the angel of time. We're working too hard, okay? And we got stifled, bored, and stuck. And we got what comes around because these people put way too much energy into, into tearing you down. It says, Sea Beacon Fairy says, guidance, but where will it lead to you? You see, the thing that they didn't know about you or expect to be a true thing about you is that the natural world actually needs you. It says, which at the end of the world, okay? Uh, an important end for a new beginning, okay? So I heard this is the end of the witch's reign, okay? It's been over. But I think this is the realization that they have reached the end of the road in, in a way, you know, and some of them are still so deep in the illusions that bounce back on them that they're totally unaware that this shit has ended. But, you know, either way, it's definitely over. So don't worry. Like sometimes it takes a while. If I'm being quite honest, sometimes it takes a while. But the while that it takes for us is no time for the divine. And that's something you have to be aware of. And you just have to have that trust and faith that they're going to get their karma. And that's not what I really need to be concerned with. OK, I just need to be concerned with like hopping around <laughs> like a cute little fucking unicorn. You know what I'm saying? It says about Kali, okay? It says Kali is the blue-skinned Hindu goddess of birth, death, and rebirth. Here, she represents the destruction phase of this natural cycle. And it is her role to clear away all that is no longer needed. She is often depicted dancing with swords. And she is said to cut off the head of those who do not heed the necessity of moving through these natural cycles. Her necklace of severed heads represents the end of slavery and the overthinking over analytical self who gets stuck when all that it need when all that it who gets stuck when all that is needed is action okay this goddess is very strong very powerful and in many ways extremely protective though her fierce nature can often frighten timid souls who fear destructive action as she is a mother goddess, she helps with issues to do with brothers and sisters and teachers and parents and will help with painful transitions. Once received in a message, Kali energy is already activated. 
let go and allow her to assist you in realizing all that is no longer needed and in taking powerful action to change your life. OK, it says Kali speaks. It says I am the dancer who moves through the fire who wields my swords and severs the cords of energy that entangle you and who is not afraid of the death that needs to happen. Every act of destruction is an act of creation, and this is no act of pointless destruction and brutality. I am clearing all that is leeching off of your energy, draining your strength, and abrading those relationships that cannot do anything but keep you stuck. It says, whether you realize it or not, you called on me and I have come to clear the path to destroy that which you have longed to let go of. Something's time has come. It will be born again and no as nothing ever truly dies, it only changes and that time has come. I am pure fire energy and the great mother and as I dance, the death you face brings you to new life, okay? So the divination message says, working with Kali is extremely powerful, but it is work we all do and all must do. If you have drawn this card, you are working with the energy of fire. You are working with the energy of the fire of the dancing mother goddess, who will teach you how to go through the change you have been resisting and feeling was too much and who will purify and change everything OK, you must not stay still with this energy. Movement is essential for working with her and her fierce nature is, in fact, a test of your own strength. Can you do what needs to be done and still dance? Can you rejoice in the purification of stale energy? Can you walk forward without hesitating? Can you say yes to what will come for you on the other side of Kali's fire? And will you wear your lessons proudly as she does her necklace and know that this death is an incarnation within an incarnation and a new life within this lifetime born of fire, which brings me back to that energy in the deck where I said, the way they create in Inception is the same way that we create in this reality, you know? And it's like, Whereas the past people use that energy within you to create an illusion outside of you. They no longer have access to that energy, okay? So now is the time for you to make sure that you're continuing to have this action and to, you know, have that determination and passion that I see in Kali's eyes here. You know what I mean? Have that focus for what it is that you want to happen in your new beginning and focus only on releasing what's not serving you also, you know? Like, try not to be too attached to any situations at this time or any information that you hear, you know? That's why I told you, you know, I was hearing these downloads, you know, but I was kind of just like laughing them off because it was hilarious and because I was staying calm and giggling about it, it was connecting to the things it needed to connect to in that moment. And sometimes we hear these downloads and we get very upset and we feel like these people ain't never going to get this karma. You know what I'm saying? But it's really our calm, our light, our happiness, our freeness in that inner, in that moment, knowing that that thing that they're telling us is already handled. And that's why they're telling us, you know, and saying a few pro positive prayers in our favor. You know what I mean? And even in the favor of the people who are for sure, for sure about to get this karma, you know, like it's all about the way that you re you're receiving it and the way you're reacting to it. And I think now you're able to handle the revelation a little bit better. It's not something that like immediately upsets you or wants you to like, like set it off okay we got the celestial channel right here it says hidden beauty remaining optimistic and staying neutral and this is what you're doing such an amazing job of staying neutral but still being able to like detach you know what i'm saying so you're seeing the hidden beauty in these certain situations that spirit is is showing to you and it's bringing this different type of energy medicine to your life. What's um essence and personality with the sun? Okay, so we got Dharma wheel, all right? So everything's beautiful for you, baby. It's the sun for you. And I feel like, like the elephant, you never forget a lesson and you could be being reminded of the lessons that you already learned so very long ago. 
it's like you're no longer susceptible to like peer pressure and you're really standing tall and strong by your moral codes okay we got angelic realms baby because that's what you're absolutely tapped into that beautiful energy of the angelic realm you now understand that this is a team effort we got charity validation and patience you know so also this energy of you giving out a lot of your energy or a lot of yourself offering help or offering whatever it is that you do for the divine. And, you know, maybe you've been receiving a little bit of validation here and there. But I think that this validation you've been receiving is about to expand in a major way, you know, and that they just want you to continue to have patience with your situation and with the way that you're growing and with the journey that you're on. You know, we got Archangel Michael because baby, at the end of the day, Archangel Michael is always there with you you have the heart of a warrior just as he does and he always is there with the divine protection that you need and also i seen 25 25 he could have been he's been sending you a lot of synchronicities at this time also you got big beautiful energies you know that the unicorns are bringing up <laughs> that are around you really protecting you and shielding you and comforting you at this time even when you're a little bit irritated and you just feel like nothing's going your way, that's when they're really there, okay? It says 2525 means that change is on the horizon. And though it might be scary, it'll ultimately lead you to your life's purpose, okay? It says in love, okay, 2525 is a nudge to be open with yourself and your partner and not be afraid to take risks. If you've been hiding how you feel, practice speaking the truth, you know, so be very clear with your truth, you know, and also Kali does so much for the throat chakra, you know, when she starts to come in and do that dance of destruction to bring you, you know, to dance your life back into your life, know that at that point you have already reached Dharma. You are already at a very high angelic level vibration in when Kali enters your energy, okay? So know that you have nothing to worry about. What's essence and personality and the sun? We got sacred space, okay? So all this beautiful time, like I said, all these prayers, all these things that you have been doing for yourself really does pay off. It really does work for you. This is what has awakened this magical alchemy, alchemy type of energy within you, you know, and I'm putting it down because that's the second time that we've seen it for you. OK, so it's yours. <laughs> OK, it says um, innovation, ingenuity, curiosity and ahead of your time, just like I said your way ahead of your time and that's why it requires patience because sometimes you're literally waiting for you know your soul family to catch up to you sometimes you're waiting for that divine lover to catch up to you sometimes you're waiting for karma to meet you where you're at because you took off and just zoom forward with this forward movement that you know has to be caught up with okay so it doesn't mean that what you're doing is not worth your time or what you're doing you're doing it wrong or none of that whatever you're doing you're doing exactly right the way that you should be doing it at this time so like please don't question that and just know that there are a lot of moving parts here i really like the way they're talking to you you are a light seeker on a beautiful light quest and you are also a visionary and you have all the mental strength and resilience that it's going to take for you to complete your mission for the divine so just um there's a big energy of you not doubting yourself or your intuition because a lot of times we hear these things in our intuition and we don't see the proof of that thing outside of us right away and it can make us question our gifts and question what we know to be true question if we're even hearing from the divine you know we get to question and if we're crazy or if we're just making this up but no baby at the end of the day you are extremely psychic and extremely magical and what you hear in your intuition to be true for you nine times out of ten is true and it's the second thought that comes after that first thought that is questioning what you think and what you just felt when your heart and your head agreed in that first moment that this is what is the truth for you so it's very important that you really trust yourself and your nudges and put that kind of belief in you because it boosts the things that the 
angelic realms are able to say to you it taps you into other magical realms you know such as the one that the unicorns live in and the ones that the elves live in and you know it taps you into the fairy world and all of these things that before seemed so impossible but when you really start to get into it and when you really start to feel your way through it you feel that this is undeniably the truth for you but only you can make those choices of what's true for you and what is not so just make sure that you really trust in this beautiful, pure essence that you hold within. And don't be afraid to let your personality shine. Because even with all, you know, the mistakes and the quirks and you, the things that you feel like you don't want to share with everyone, it's perfect just the way that it is. And it is nine times out of ten a lot of those imperfections that helped you to get to this such a high and pure vibration anyway. So just try not to like shoot yourself down, you know, before you even get a chance to really truly take off to where it is that you're meant to go. What's essence and personality? We got the scales of karma, okay? The scales of karma are being balanced and it's all for, you know, the best outcome when it comes to your well-being at the end of the day. This is the way that your soul and your higher self makes choices in a way that preserves you and as many of the people around you as you can. But also your higher self will be like, drop them all because that is the best decision for your self-preservation. That is the best way to free up your energy to make sure you are of service to spirit the way that you are meant to be. So try not to like question your guides so much or go back and forth with them and just really try to have as like a free youthful type of experience. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to be enjoyed. And these things that you're like relearning how to do, you're remembering how to do these things. You already know how and you already like I'm hearing you are already a master at detachment. You are already a master at delivering karma. You are already a master at this magical alchemy, you know, this magical alchemical energy that you have stepped into. So believe that and trust in the journey you're walking. This cycle of disharmony, this is over. You have already created new traditions just by the way that you've changed your DNA, okay? And please know that when it does come to karma, there are many unfortunate events coming to quite a few people behind you. But that at the end of the day, that's not the point and that we're sad for them. You know what I mean? Like not so sad that it messes us up or it messes our energy or, you know, it makes us lower our vibration. But we pity them because <laughs> they are not in alignment with God. And that's a very sad thing, you know. And we are supposed to have hope and have faith that eventually they'll come around to there. So it's like when you still have like such disdain or such anger or such irritation toward the people when they already got it super bad and you know it for sure. Like it's a sign that maybe you could still be a little bit emotionally attached to that thing or maybe you could still be holding on to some part of that situation that maybe you haven't addressed within you about how you feel about it or about how you feel about that person. And that's perfectly fine, too. But your guides are saying as you heal it, make sure that you're asking and being open to the help that they bring in to help you heal with that because it makes things happen a lot faster, you know. And it's like Kali, like it said, you know, she said, be open to it. Know that this is already happening in your energy and that you need to open up to it. Because we can, like I talk about all the time, play that tug of war with the divine because we're still holding on to something emotionally because we feel like, you know, well, they did me wrong. And, you know, they took this and they did that and I could have been here and I could have been there, you know. But know that everything went exactly the way that it was supposed to go. I'm going to I'm going to blow my nose. Okay. Excuse me. But sometimes when I start channeling, you just be like. <laughs> OK, so. Um, but I love it. You know, I love where your energy is. You're doing a great job. Like I said before, even if you are still emotionally attached to certain things, 
but know that any anxiety or fear of going forward, you know, because you think things like that might happen again, does have the power to hold you back a little bit. And this is why the unicorns are asking you guys to just like release it and get into more of that magical thing where you know that everything just works out for you, no problem, you know, and those like magical cartoons is what they're showing me, you know, like the kid or whoever just skipping along, you know what I mean? And all of these dangers surrounding them lurking in the woods or whatever dangerous part of town they're in, but they're so hopeful and they know that they're covered and they're just have no fears or no worries. So they skip through that very dangerous part of town or that dangerous part of the woods with no issues or no problems because they know they're covered in a way like they know they have nothing to fear what's anyone against you will pay karma and the dharma will we got the five of stars okay or the five of pentacles as you come in from the cold you know when you started coming in from the cold these people started going out in the cold so it's like it is the transfer of energy you know what i'm saying but it's it's a very slow thing and it takes a lot of processes and vibrational achievements within you before these things can be really kicked off the way we want to see shit kicked off you know i heard it's like it's not an action movie okay we got the fool you know but you have already taken that leap so just know that everything's working out for you baby okay what's um anyone against you will pay karma and the angelic realms let me see this we got the knight of moons or the knight of cups okay this beautiful offer of love okay and we got the knight of swords coming in much faster than you think when it comes to the angels you know and then these feathers on the knight cards are giving me this energy of ancestors okay the angels might leave you feathers and also there's a bird flying behind archangel michael in this card it's like at the end of the day, Archangel Michael made sure that this cycle was closed. And that's why you know for sure they're going to receive this karma. We got the Knight of Stars, okay? Or the Knight of Pentacles. And everything that you need, this new beginning, these beautiful things are on their way to you. And they were always on their way to you. They was never really going to go to anybody else, even if it seemed like they had the ball for a little bit. The angels then done a hell of a play on them. And now you finna get this touchdown, okay? You might like football. <laughs> you might really like football, okay? But you finna get this touchdown for sure. What's a magical alchemy and anyone against you will pay karma, okay? We got the five of moons. Because they're really in a sad energy. Like in this energy of regret. Because now they're seeing the magic on you. Now they're seeing how amazing you actually are. And it's like for some of you guys, that negative treatment or whatever was a way for them to initiate you into their coven through the energy of heartbreak and pain. But you walked away from that for this karma water. And that's what brought in the karma for them in the first place. So know that you're far beyond some sort of page okay <laughs> like you are beautiful high-ranking energy what's uh well-being and anyone against you will pay karma the nine of moons okay or the nine of cups baby you're gonna get any and every wish fulfillment you ever shot your shot at and it's at least nine people that was working very hard to hold back your wish fulfillment I say that because there's nine moons and there's nine stars, okay? So I feel like, and then there's like a moon in front of every star, you know what I'm saying? So it's like every time you shot your shot, there was some person or some cup to come and get in the way of what it is that you were trying to do with that selfish type of energy that you didn't deserve well-being. I also said that because um, the well-being card is the number 36, which equals nine. And nine is also the number of closing cycles. So know that this, this, this energy of people being able to stand in your way when it comes to what you're shooting at or what you're aiming for, that shit is over. And they will get the karma for it. So spend all the time alone that you need to spend so you could do this work that's really important. Continue to do the work of the higher initiate, baby. 
because it's gorgeous and it really is going towards something so beautiful i don't even feel that you're like even ready for the things that are coming in for this change of energy you are about to experience and you could be already experiencing this energy you know but it just feels like you know you're much lighter you're much more free or you're much more happy but i do get the energy of you know this thought creeping in of like what if these people never get karma type shit you know and it's like that's just the ego trying to talk you out of certain things and is also a sign of certain things that need to be healed and fixed within yourself that that fear energy the fear that they will be able to regain that kind of control the fear that what if i didn't really close this cycle like i said the fear that oh my god what if i'm crazy like they say i'm crazy then what am I going to do? Then I wasted all of this time on this crazy shit when I could have been doing something sensible. But you're doing the most sensible thing you ever did do. So please <laughs> continue to do that, okay? Let me get another one for uh, well-being and anyone against you will pay karma, okay? The Ace of Wands. You're getting this beautiful wish fulfillment and this amazing new happy beginning. But this new very spiritual and divinely guided happy beginning. We got the magician right here at the bottom of the deck, okay? Beautiful. And the three of wands and the three of moons under that, okay? So you are magic, baby, and you are meant to be celebrated. And that's why everything that you've been working on attracting is going to come into you or going to continue to come into you, you know? You're doing so good. What's uh? I am Polly, the Dharma wheel, and the... Five of stars. Whoa. Okay. We got deja vu. We got evil family members. Okay. And we got trauma. So this could be what's going on with you though too. You could be just like having certain deja vus and seeing these things start to be proven true. That could be a thing too. Not that you're questioning that there that karma is going to come, but now you're seeing these people for who they truly are and this could be reawakening certain traumas within you and certain memories but this is not really what's going on what's really going on is that Kali is in your energy helping you to release those certain things so yes they're going to come to mind what you do is go into your sacred space you know say those prayers say those things that are like yes okay I, I acknowledge that that was a hard time I learned this, I learned that, I learned that, and I release that to you for healing and transmutation, you know? Or even if you're a journaler, because that's what I'm hearing, that you could be someone who writes things down, you know, write it down. What is the reoccurring thought that you keep having? Write that thought down. And then write a letter or a prayer to the divine, you know? You could even burn it or whatever so that it goes up into the ethers so that you can feel like you're doing something physical but just those words being expressed out of your mouth with that with the proper feeling is enough to get it done we got spell work you know so they still trying to do spell work baby but that spell work has no effect on you what's angelic realms i am Kali, the knight of moons and the knight of swords we got empath okay and we got dna upgrade like I said, the way you have upgraded your DNA, you already are ahead of your time. You have already done some shit that millions of people will not do in this lifetime. And that's why you're being crowned the way that you are. But also that's why your gifts are so heightened because you earn that. What's Archangel Michael, the world, and I am Kali, but they're saying your gifts get so much better. They get so much more clear. You start to hear more clear, see things clearer. You get the hang of how they work with you, okay? You could be a tarot reader or you could have closed some sort of cycle, cycle out with a tarot reader. Archangel Michael could have closed this cycle where this tarot reader was attacking you, okay? It says angels are protecting you at the bottom of the deck, so that's confirmation on that. We got uh, what's sacred space, the night of stars, and I am Kali. We got underestimated, okay? So these people have been underestimating you. I, I heard your whole life, okay? People love to underestimate you. But I think, you know, like me, you come with this look like you don't do what you do. You know what I mean? Like you might not present the way people expect someone of your caliber or someone of your energy to present. 
And so like you might look like a sucker. You might look like a trap. And sometimes you are. <laughs> but it's very purposely done. Spirit will definitely work through you to take down nasty energies and energies that don't belong here in this realm because of the crimes that they have committed against God and the universe, okay? So you just have to really trust in your path and the way that you're going and know that you have a bigger job, okay? Even if you are a tarot reader, it's almost like most of your job is not even done when you're doing tarot. Most of your job is done when you're out dealing with people, when you're dealing with these assholes and even dealing with really nice people out in public. That energetic exchange you're having with certain people and certain energies, that's the biggest part of your job, okay? And you're amazing and wonderful at it. Even if that plays out as you like actually reaching out and talking to people, doing readings and things like that online. What's magical alchemy, the five of moons, the three of swords, and I am Kali, okay? We got remain calm at this time. Have that calm in this time of chaos. Like I said, you're standing on that strong vibration in the middle of this earthquake where everything is getting shaken up around you, but it's all for your well-being at the end of the day. So also this energy of you having much trust in the divine at this time and realizing that the sun does shine within you, but it's also shining on your life and on your world outside of you and exposing and burning up these vampires out of your energy. You could have dream messages. You could have had a dream like that where a vampire was burning, okay? That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> you could have dreamt about um, the scales of karma, okay? You also could have had some interesting dream about like a sword lighting up. These are just the things that I'm hearing, okay? What's uh, scales of karma, the six of swords, and I am Kali? It says not only are you a miracle, but one is on its way to you, okay? And that is the way that the scales are balancing for you. But you just have to constantly remind yourself that you're already in this calmer water. And that all of those different labels and ways of being and living that people try to put on you have been buried. And there's nothing shining through but your own natural essence and personality the way it was always meant to. What's well-being? The nine of moons, the ace of wands, and I am Kali. Goddess energy, baby, okay? <laughs> Beautiful and amazing goddess energy just shining from the inside out of you, even if you're a masculine. Such a beautiful, compassionate, and loving energy. Maybe you didn't deserve all the things that you went through and all the hard times that you had in this life that you had to put up with. But maybe it's time for you to turn those things around and start looking at them, not as things that you had to put up with, but as things that got you right here to this point where you are with God. They helped you with your relationship that you had with the divine. You know how to deal with every energy, and even that includes the energy of sickness. I don't know about you, but I ain't been sick for a while, okay? <laughs> like, not at all, okay? I've been feeling very healthy and very good, and you received the same DNA upgrades I did. So know that if you do feel sick or you don't feel up to par or whatever or you can't get certain things out of your head that those things are different for you those are not regular people signs of things okay those are spiritual signs of things that you need to pay much attention to where does it hurt which chakra is it by it are you getting a headache okay or do you got a headache in your temples you know what i mean like is your lower back hurting by your sacral and root chakra because you could either be experiencing upgrades with that pain or you could be releasing negative energies that are no longer serving you in those areas, okay? Do your feet hurt? Because that could be representative of not only you being a little bit overworked, but also of every part of your body being upgraded all at once because your feet connect to every part of you. So just be more aware of this. Like, yes, you're going through a rebirth, but nobody said that that rebirth was going to necessarily feel good at first, okay? Some parts of the rebirth are very painful and very uncomfortable, and it will make you feel like, am I getting attacked? Because if I am, okay, I'm getting my ass whooped, <laughs> you know? And sometimes you are being attacked, and that little bit of pain was just a fraction of what was supposed to happen to you. 
So even this energy of you even being grateful for the things that you really necessarily don't understand, asking Archangel Raphael to come in and heal whatever that is, and also to bring you clarity on what it is that could be causing such, such pain or such discomfort in your own energy. So you can be reassured that you're in a, this beautiful energy again, you know. What's the final thought on this? That was a little bit longer than I thought it would be. But like I tell y'all, ain't no time limit on spirit. I let them say what they want to say. No matter how long it takes, okay? What's the final thought on this? Oh, okay. We got the deal in reverse. And then we got adaption and we got joy and we got work. Okay. I don't think that these people expected you to put in such work, this place of joy that you're in or that you're stepping into is beautiful. And like I said, you've been through every situation. You're like an octopus at this point, you know how to adapt and to fit in anywhere, but that's not even the mission. The mission is for you to shine everywhere. <laughs> okay. And let that beautiful energy of joy and love and compassion be the thing that makes you fit in anywhere, you know. But I think you've done all of the, the very, very hard spiritual work that it took along this journey. And you just need to, like, really give yourself some credit. What is this? It's a goat. Yeah, so... Since it's in reverse, we'll read the shadow meaning, okay? It says, the shadow reading of the deal card indicates the God of the old world rather than the devil of the new. It is unbridled nature and spirit which cannot be tied down to material promise. The shadow reading of this card is chains broken, ridding oneself of an undesirable contract or freeing yourself from bondage, okay? At the end of the day, know that you are free and that these people are going to get their karma exactly the way that they deserve it, you know. But upright, okay, it represents a pledge or a contract, okay. It says in Greek mythology, the goat is associated with the god Pan, okay. So you could have been someone who was dealing with this type of energy, with this nasty Pan energy, okay. That's terrible energy. It says evil is what I'm hearing, okay. It says who is in his essence, nature untamed, okay? So these people are completely untamed and unhinged, okay? And some of them are still walking around in that same energy, you know? It says, this God was later inverted by Christian mythology to symbolize the devil and consequently much lore regarding the goat is swept up in themes of evil, devilry, and deception. The goat was associated with witchcraft and regarded as a witch's familiar, which some believing that the goat was the devil himself who came to make a pact with the fled with the fledgling fledge with a fledgling witch. Okay, that's what it says. It says this card is a pact or promise to be made. It is a sign of bondage to a person, institution, or cause. And all of that is being torn down in your favor at this time. It says the goat is highly adaptive and resilient. Goats are excellent climbers and browsing gaze, my bad, browsing grazers, making them hardy animals. They are agile and difficult to rein and able to surmount great natural obstacles. The deal card may symbolize a dependable contract able to withstand significant changes and challenges. And that's the kind of contract that you hold with God, okay, with the divine beings that back you. One that can withstand significant changes and challenges. So it didn't matter who these people made pledges and contracts with in the end. They never was going to be able to attack you or, or to really handle you, okay? They always was going to go down to this karma that they was attracting the whole time. They was treating you the way they was treating you. It says this card may be emblematic of a partnership, marriage, or union, which has seen tough times, but always managed to overcome difficulties. It says this card may also represent those born under the Western sign of Capricorn, okay? So you could be a Capricorn or a Capricorn could be significant in the people who are getting karma, okay? So with that, I'm done, okay? I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day that you got something that you needed out of this. And I will see you later, my love. Bye.